Hi everyone and welcome back to a little bit of Warframe. Um, so yeah, a couple of days ago our buddy asked me, hey, can you actually do the uh, Profit Taker solo? And I was like, I should be able to. I do have the gear, so I might as well try, right? Um, so I've ran this in a public setting a couple of times and it's very odd. Either you do all the damage or you don't deal damage at all, uh, which is strange because even when I one-tap the legs, uh, the guy that gets the shots onto the orb itself um, is actually getting all the damage, it seems like. So that's very, very strange. But hey... It's all right. It's all right. Now we did get a little bit of um. Yeah, that's a bit unlucky. We got the river, which is okay, but it's the one I don't like. So for gas damage, we do have our Redeemer Prime, and we would like to get our boss for Chroma. There we go. Now we are pretty much where we need to be. I definitely want to get rid of that. Supply beacon. Um, that is a damage type I do not have, so let's cycle through. Same goes for magnetic. I do not have any magnetic damage on me, so there we go. Cold we do have on our tomb finger, so let's uh, engage with that. Try to get the shield down. There we go. Tax charge helping me out. Slash damage. Guess we could try if the Tigris is... Yeah, that's okay-ish, I guess. Let's make sure we use Elevate to heal up. Impact, cycle through that. Heat is on our Tigris as well. There we go. Let's make sure our three stays active. And the most annoying thing, honestly, are all the Corpus that are, like, running around here and interfering with you. That's like the biggest problem I have with this fight. Find I really I find it hard to concentrate on a lot of stuff when everything around you is constant knockbacks and ton of tons of enemies that are just really laying the damage onto you. But now that you have the shield down, we can pretty much just one tap the legs. There we go. One tap the body as well. Let's heal up. Let's go after this one first. There we go. Go over to this one. We should have enough ammunition in our Corvus. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. Why does this always happen? That is like one of the worst things that can happen to you. Why did it teleport me down there? I was traversing over a river, yes, but I was... I was safe. I was safe. Well, that got blocked, so... Let's try that again. We definitely do have enough damage, or enough ammo. To do it like that, that's okay. So we are back in a shield phase. And we have an element that we do not have, so let's cycle that one through. There we go, we got Viral. Viral is really, really good for us because Tigris Prime, two shots, and we cycled through. We don't have much puncture damage on the Tigris, or not enough. Electricity we can't deal with as well. Let's try and cycle that one as well. It did switch to radiation, good. That's uh, another element we have on our Tomb Finger, so let's make sure we heal up with our two. And our Magus Elevate, which does help a ton in this fight. i also using an uh, Arcadine Nullifier, just so I don't get magnetic procced. And since I don't have Primed Shore Footed to make me immune to knockbacks, I am actually using Handspring for now. Blast we can do with the Redeemer as well. 
We are back on the kinetic that we cannot deal with, so... Ow! That did hurt. Cycle that to coal. Cold is okay. That is on the Tomb Finger. And I definitely want to get rid of those sticks because they annoy me. See, the thing is they run in front of you and when they are in front of you and you shoot them with your Tomb Finger, they run into the shot and you get punished for it because you do get the knockback from the um, explosion part of the Tomb Finger, right? So, a little bit unlucky, but we should be able to go through here. For this one though, we will get rid of our arc gun. Let's make sure we take a good look on where those things are going. We are going after these first. There we go. Take the tomb finger for that. There was another one really close, right? Yeah, there it is. There we go. I'm glad I have mind sprint and stuff. That really helps. Make sure our buffs are up. There we go. Ow, ow. That was suboptimal, to say the least. <laughs> And let's try and get to the last two of those as quickly as we can. And we will be on a timer now, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's how the fight goes, right? So let's uh, dash over here. We are on corrosive. Make sure our Vex armor is up and running. We really, really need that. And we are on an element that we are not able to deal with again. There we go. Viral, that is perfect. That's what we want. There we go. We can get some shots in, but that's not a lot of damage, as you can see. So we will cycle through. There we go. Radiation. Elemental ward again. That will heal us. That will... Expand our life pool, which we definitely need. Nice, okay. So, it's not the quickest that you can do this solo, obviously. That's just because I am... I haven't practiced this very often, so I'm still, like, learning a lot of the best setups and stuff, but... A couple of things do work very, very nicely for me. At the moment and that's like really good for me personally so it allows me to get some practice in without um, being too much of a hassle to redo some builds right so you're in the last phase though what do you need to do now take down the legs again and that's it. That is Profit Taker done. Solo. Obviously you do this with Chroma. Pop our effigy and hope for a doubling of the credits. I also did get a credit booster out of Nightwave. So that's in here as well. You get everything and we will return. So... Am I able to do this solo? Yes, I am. Is it pretty? Not really. Um, do I need to really try and practice this fight more? Absolutely. And we will stay here for a second. Because I, don't, I think I only look at that like once. <laughs> so I want to see the big explosion again. Um, but yeah, it takes me a roughly 9 to 10 minutes for the fight. Um, if you really get your shit together and your practice, um, you will lower that time. In a public squad, we often were between 5 and 6 minutes, which is really, really good. Um, if you do coordinate with your friends, though, and you really have a good mixture of the elements, holy smokes, can you do this fight fast, right? So, 
Oh, well, that was a bit too far away. That's okay, though. That's okay. So let's head back to Fortuna. And yeah, um, I mean the builds will not surprise you at all. Oh, we didn't get the effigy, but yeah, you normally get 125k, and as you can see, boost the credits uh, doubled, doubled that amount. Get the Christmas toroids, which are used to rank up with Little Duck over here. Um, I am on rank 4 right now, so that allowed me to get the part that I really wanted. Oh. I forgot, you need to be an operator. There we go. <laughs> Vox Solar is standing, we will take a look at that afterwards, but I did get my search Brace blueprint, which is nice. Uh, the last thing we will unlock are these arcanes, which none of them really are the ones I really want to, but we can get Baruch stuff in here, so I might, I might go after Baruch at some point. Uh, I will have to see how it's looking. We can actually just trade in four. There we go. That's okay. And as you can see, uh, I'm on rank four. For the rank up, we would need a couple more repeller systems, one million credits, a couple of Christmas toroids. So I might even go and do that at some point. We will have to see about that though. Alright, and let's take a quick look at the builds I'm running, just so you know what I'm using. And uh, here's my Chroma Prime build for Formas. Uh, it might will need a fifth one, honestly, because Handspring... Yes, you have to faster knockdown recovery, but yeah, I really need Prime Sure Footed in here. That will help uh, immensely. I'm using Deadeye here, which is probably a mistake. Um, I'm just using it, um, because I was idle on hunting with this build, right? So, steel charge works, you get l more points with that, obviously. Uh, rifle amp could be good. Stand united. Hmm. <laughs> uh, speed holster could help. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff that could help. Um, I'm just sticking to that eye for the moment. I'm using an arcane nullifier, just so I cannot get magnetic procs. Um, as you can see, on rank 5 you are safe from those. And I have a grace in here because I randomly got one, I think, in like Nightwave. I might change this out, I have to see. But for the build itself, uh, we need a lot of strength, right? So. I invested a ton of endo and credits to get Umbral Intensified to max rank, Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude, Augur Secrets to get 322% strength. That equals to 885% damage increase, and that's very sub substantial, right? I also want the buffs to last quite long, so Primed Continuity and Narrow Minded will help out immensely in that. Vitality, because we definitely do need the health Definitely. And Hunter Adrenaline really helps with keeping a lot of energy. Uh, as you can see, I mean, this cost 116 and our 277 energy to cast. So we definitely want Hunter Adrenaline here. Or else you will need a lot of energy pizzas, right? So, but yeah, that's a pretty standard Chroma build, I say. I would assume so, because honestly, all you do is sack strength and duration, and that's pretty much all that Chroma does, right? For the Tigris Prime, I am using this build here. Prime Point Blank, it actually, I'm not really sure, because with snipers and stuff, your normal damage mod doesn't get counted, right? So I'm not sure if I should use this or not. I'll have to test that out a little bit. Hell's Chamber, though, for multi-shot, definitely want that. Um, using Toxic Barrage, Chilling Grasp, Blaze, Contagious Spread to get our Viral and Heat combo on the Tigris. On our Kit Gun, Tomb Finger, uh, this is the build I use. Hard Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, Prime Target, Cracker, 
as well as Pistol Gambit, so we get a lot of crit chance, crit damage, multi-shot, and even fire rate. Uh, other than that, I'm using Pathogen Rant with Cholt and Frostbite. So we get radiation from the gun itself, corrosive, with these two mods. And then we also throw a little bit of cold on there to help us out. And I'm using Pax Charge. Now Pax Charge, as you can see here, it changes your gun into um, a self-reloading gun, but you have a little bit of a cooldown on it. And I mean, we really reduce the delay of that and it's quite nice to use, not gonna lie. I really enjoy this one. Um, also really, I need to see if I need to remove Hornet Strike. Um, yeah, still just testing. The Redeemer Prime is pretty much just, I'm using High Noon just so I have the most amount of points. I have not invested any Forma into the Redeemer. And all we do here is stack up some damage like as you can see we have fever strike virulent scourge molten impact to get as much gas damage that we can get so that's good right the projectile also deals blast damage so that's why you saw me using that during that fight phase as well organ shatter for crit damage blood rush to stack up some crit chance that's not really that needed but this is just to ensure if you take out from uh, to some other mission uh, you can use the Redeemer and uh, Drifting Contact here to get a little bit of combat duration, right? So that's always fun. Fury for speed. You could use Berserker, you could use the, um, I think it's Gladiator. Is it Gladiator? Yeah, Gladiator Rise. For attack speed, I just, I just threw Fury in there, so it's consistent. Prime Pressure Point, I don't even know if you need that with Chroma, but again, if you use it outside, it still doesn't completely destroy the build. And that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously for focus, I'm using Sanuric, uh, especially max rank, energizing dash, helps out a lot. And I do have a couple of unbounds in here. So increased movement speed, as well as increased void dash speed, helps a norm, really, <laughs> it helps immensely. Uh, inner gaze is just to uh, have more energy on amps. I really, I don't need this on Chroma. To be fair, but yeah, um, so we will work towards these two waybounds here, uh, especially this one. I really need that in other focus goals, but all we worry about with focus in this fight is to give us that initial burst of energy so we can cast our three immediately. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That These are the builds, and I would assume pretty much everyone runs it pretty damn close to this. Um, for Chroma, I think there is no other build that, at the moment, that comes close. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you want. Now, obviously, for Forma, that is quite intensive, right? And you might ask yourself, yeah, but what if I don't want to invest that much? Uh, my normal Chroma, with pretty much the same thing, we were using Rage, and that's strange. That's oddly strange. Um, so if we quickly go over this, um, what would we use? Let's let's take the steel charge. We probably will need this in here, actually. So we definitely want blind rage, transient fortitude. We definitely want narrow minded in here. We will need vitality, and as you can see, this will like this will get hard. This will, this gets really hard to come close. Um, although the damage increase is on 698, that's not too bad. Honestly, 42 seconds of duration, we might want to bump that up a little bit. We definitely want Hunter Adrenaline though, we need that for sure. But other than that, I think if we just go for a little bit more duration. Also, this could help as well. 698%. So, yeah. Possible, I would assume. We can also throw Ogre Message in here. So now it lasts 55 seconds. That's not too bad. 
Or what you could do is probably just go with Streamline, actually. And, whoa, that doesn't even... We can't even fit that one. We can fit this one. Ah, I don't know if that's worth it, actually. So, yeah, as you can see, it does make a huge difference. But I do get that this is quite the investment with four Forma, right? Um, but it's, as you saw, it is worth it, right? It is absolutely worth it. But with that, we will conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, take care. Bye. <laughs>